Hey hey, today's video is all about picking out some games that have some tasty discounts right now during the Steam Summer Sale. I'll be picking games that you might have otherwise overlooked during the sales that are absolutely worth giving a try. Some of these were pretty popular during release, so you'll probably know a lot of these, but maybe you haven't played them just yet. I'll be picking three games for their multiplayer aspect and three games for their single player aspect. Hopefully there'll be a game or two in there that you haven't considered yet. I will mention beforehand that I'm not going to get super in depth with explaining these games, so let's just get on with it and start with the multiplayer games. Warhammer End Times Vermintide. It's a fantastic melee focused Left 4 Dead S game that follows the formula and improves on it in many ways. It has a sequel, but I feel the first is still very much worth a try. There's a story here too, even though it's not the most important thing going on. It's still very much worth playing this though before the sequel as it's a direct continuation. Both games in the series are very cheap during sales with plenty of content to power through and master and with some pretty reasonable price DLC to consider picking up too. I recommend playing this through with some friends as communication does help a lot even though you probably won't have many issues trying to find strangers to play with. It's you and three other friends smacking holes of rats, what isn't to like? A Way Out flew under a lot of people's radars when it first released on PC, not helped by the fact that EA kept it exclusively on their own platform instead of releasing elsewhere. As of recently though, EA has brought a lot of their games back to Steam, including this one. It's one that you need to play through with a friend as there isn't any single player. You can play online, use remote play, or you can even use couch co-op. I had a blast playing through this with a friend, and it's a good tester before you go on to the studio's next game, It Takes Two, which uses the same formula of co-op. For me, the biggest surprise here was how good the story was and how it goes beyond just being a prison break copy. And actually, it has a lot of depth to it. You do actually end up caring about the characters as the story takes some unexpected turns. This game is also on the EA Pass, but if you're like me, you do want to own your own games. Over the past few years, the games market has been flooded with Battle Royale games that very rarely do anything differently. Of course, Hunt Showdown isn't technically a Battle Royale game, it's on a much smaller scale, but it absolutely does share DNA with that genre. The game mixes PvP and PvE action flawlessly and makes every game feel slightly different to the last. You can't ever predict what is going to happen. In short, you and up to two others will begin tracking monsters via clues. Along the way you'll come across various enemies and possibly players. You'll either have to sneak or fight your way through to the boss and collect the bounty. It's at which point you'll then have to navigate to an extraction point being on the lookout for other players who can actually come up and steal the bounties from you. The game's sound design is absolutely superb through this. There's a lot to this game and it's Popularity is still growing and growing, so it's absolutely worth trying out if you might be into these kind of games. The Sexy Brutal isn't really a game that I can talk a lot about without spoiling a lot of what makes this game unique. What I can say though is that the game is a murder mystery time loop with you solving what is going on. It's a unique puzzle based game with a whole lot of charm and while you might not be endlessly replaying this as the time loop might suggest, you will be left with a memorable experience that can take upwards of 10 hours to complete. This game is not going to appeal to everyone, but the ones who it does appeal to are going to love it. It's also one that I don't hear people talking about anymore, and I think that is a shame. If you're a fan of the turn-based genre, I don't think you could go wrong with this game. As time has gone by, Amplitude has added various DLCs to the game which has expanded a lot of what I enjoyed when it first came out. It definitely shares a lot of similarities with the Civilization series, but I think it does more than enough to separate the two. Endless Legend, of course, being a fantasy game for one. At this point in time, the game is almost 7 years old, but don't let that put you off. It does hold up really well, and the price is an absolute steal during sales. I feel that this game is a perfect tester for people who might consider buying the upcoming game Humankind, which is a historical forex game which I'm sure will refine many of the mechanics you see in this game. It's also worth noting that Amplitude has created this shared universe between its games in the Endless series, such as Endless Space 1 and 2 and also Dungeon of the Endless, all of which I think are worth checking out too. 
The Yakuza series has received widespread critical acclaim, yet it's a series that many haven't actually played. Up until 2018, you were only able to play this series on PlayStation. Luckily, Sega brought this series to PC and since then has found success with the platform. While it might seem daunting to jump into a series that has 7 games that tie into this protagonist's story, 0-6, to six, it's really not the case. Zero in particular is full of personality and charm with a serious and deep story that introduces you to some important players in the upcoming entries. The side quests and world is where this game really shines though, with plenty of quirky plot lines that had me laughing out loud at times. While this game is open world, it's nowhere on the scale of Grand Theft Auto and its peers. I find massive open world games quite exhausting at times, so honestly, this was actually a breath of fresh air. I would recommend this to anyone who enjoys a good story with fleshed out characters in an open world setting that isn't actually going to have you backtracking for hours. And yeah, that is about it for today's video. I hope anybody who has watched this has enjoyed and will actually take a look at some of these games if they haven't already. Let me know in the comments what games you're buying on the sale. Please like, subscribe and stick around for my next video. Take care.